the atmosphere? What do you expect? Well, I think it'll be electric. You know, hopefully the weather cooperates, you know, so everybody who's planning on attending can actually come out and enjoy the game and not have to bundle up so much as they want. But it's going to be different. I think the first two or three innings are going to be very different. And then after that, I think the game will settle down a little bit and resemble a baseball game. But I think the first couple of innings with all the ceremonies that will be taking place beforehand and all that will probably be very unusual for the players. It's an awe factor that your kids have when they walk down the field. Well, when they first walked out, you could tell us, you know, their eyes were bugging out. Some had their uh, cell phones with them taking photos and whatever. And I think after the initial 10 or 15 minutes, they started to settle down a little bit and, and uh, get accustomed to their new home. This is their home. You know, we're not in here for one day. It's not just tomorrow night. We've got a weekend series here. We've got 12 more regular season games here. So I told them before we came out, get used to your home. We have to get comfortable playing here. we got some big games here the rest of this spring, and I hope it you know, becomes a huge home field advantage for us. Well, once we get in here now, I mean, we've, we've been talking about this for quite a while now. Now that the doors are actually open and we can bring people in here, I think it's going to be a big, a big boost for us. It's what we've been looking for. We needed something. We needed to get into a different field. We've said that for a long time now. University has given us this opportunity. It's our job to take advantage of it, and we plan on doing it. Talk about game two of the matchup between you and Nebraska tomorrow night. What did you learn from that first one? Well, you know what? We learned in the first one we didn't play very aggressively, and we're going to change that tomorrow. We were very tentative in the first game. I thought our pitchers were very tentative. I thought our hitters were very tentative. We can't play that way. We played that way a couple times this year. We've been unsuccessful. So I think tomorrow we're going to come out. We're going to be very aggressive. Our pitchers are going to throw more strikes. We're going to try to do some more things offensively and uh, take our chances. That doesn't guarantee wins, but it guarantees a better result. Uh, you know, we're going to be feel happier about coming off the field tomorrow knowing that we're going to be a much more aggressive team. Any concern about the historical significance of tomorrow night kind of shadow on baseball? You know, maybe I'm just not smart, Steve. I don't know. You know I, mean, I, I just look at it as a baseball game tomorrow. I mean, we, it's a, it's a great opportunity for Creighton University to play Nebraska. We've put ourselves in a good position now. This team has worked hard to be 26 and 7. It's not easy to do that, you know. And we've 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 only had 10 home games. We've been on the road 23 times. This team deserves an opportunity tomorrow. They deserve an opportunity to play in front of a lot of people and showcase their skills. You know, it's it's hard to win 26 Division One baseball games at this stage of the year, and especially as many road games as they play. I'm very impressed with how this team has carried themselves, and, and, and I know tomorrow will be a much more aggressive, confident club. You know, I, I guess I wasn't here when they came out. I just saw their eyes and their reactions. I didn't see a lot of their comments or hear a lot of their comments. I just saw their reactions to it. And, and, uh, I, I, I actually saw a couple of them go up to Bruce Rasmussen, our athletic director, and thank him for the opportunity. That's the kind of kids we have in this club. They understand this is an opportunity very few teams are going to get a chance to, to have, and uh, I, I anticipate they're going to take full advantage of it. Well, you know, as, as a coach, all I look at is the surface. You know, I look at the surface. I look at, I'm a, yeah, as a former guy that tried to play the infield, I'm always protective of our infielders. First thing I looked at was the infield. Was it going to play true? Was it going to play consistent? Was it going to play fast? Was it going to play slow? I mean, it's outstanding. It's what any kid wants to have. And as a coach, all you want your players to have is a chance to make plays. They'll have a chance at this field. You know, it reminds me of the outfield. It reminds me of Springfield, where Missouri State plays their baseball. The outfield does. I mean, this stuff, they don't have two tiers to their stadium, but... But the outfield with just how the, the bullpens are very similar, where you can see through the bullpen, and you have the blocked off in center field, you have the yellow you know, top into it. So that part reminded me a little bit of Springfield. Springfield's one of our more favorite parks. We won our first championship. What about the wind here at this ballpark? Who does it think? The wind? Yeah. Well, it's obviously a pitcher's ballpark tonight. It'll be a pitcher's ballpark tomorrow, too. I mean, if the, are, I mean, if the hitters rather try to hit the ball up in the air, they're not going to have much success. The ball they hit had very little carry tonight. Except into the right field corner. That's the only place where we don't care. The guys had so everyone wanted to hit that first home run. Uh, finally, one came a little bit later. Who was it? And, and he got it pretty good. Well, it was Mike Gerber. He's a freshman. He's actually got a little pop. He's got a little bat speed. He hit the one. He actually hit it over the bullpen into the seats up there, which I didn't think was capable. Anybody was capable of doing tonight because of the cool weather and the wind. But uh, 
you know, Mike's got a little juice in his bat, so you know, I'm not, I'm not totally surprised. I know it'd be Mike or Trevor, one of those two guys. That's good. You know, I, I, you know, I told the team earlier. You know, we got to get on the baseball map. If we want any chance to continue to try to play in June, you got to get on the map. By being on the polls, you kind of get on the map. I mean, a lot of people look at those polls. They start to say, hey, you know, Craig's have a decent team. Maybe we should consider them. And uh, so it was time for us to get on the, on the college baseball map. I think we did that with our play this weekend. Now it's our job to stay out there because you can fall off just as quickly as, as it, you know, as, as what uh, it took for us to get back on it. Coach, how much have you used this team in the recruiting the last few years? We've talked about it a lot, you know, but we haven't been able to bring anybody in. So the kids see it from the outside, and they say, ah, that's pretty cool. It's neat. You know, they see the sign, TD Ameritrade, out there. And, and uh, But to get them in here now, to get them on the surface where they can walk on the field and stuff will make a big, big difference. So we're looking forward to uh, all the benefits that we're going to have by playing in here. All right.